Hi there, I'm Zalora. For additional free content and to join the crew community, go to tractician.co.za. Links in pinned comment. The sign up is completely free. Come join us there. Enjoy the reaction. Okay, so it's Sunday evening and I thought I'd bring you something completely different. And it's the first time I'm actually ever reacting to this kind of content. But I really wanted to because it actually is one of my passions where um, I've been following SpaceX for a hell of a long time and all of the different strides that they've been taking in some incredible engineering feats. And uh, the one specific um, element that I've been um, following is this super heavy uh, spaceship, which I think is absolutely incredible and i've been so desperately wanting elon musk to actually get this right because i saw the first and the second and the third test launches that exploded but they were actually happy about it because they learned something from that and uh, apparently apparently this literally just broke now they actually managed to um have a breakthrough um, in the whole super heavy project so i'm literally reacting to this for the first time i'm doing it with you uh we're gonna watch this the video isn't too long it's about eight minutes if it's a, a lot of just like hang time and things like that i'll, I'll fast forward but um the, the one thing i think they are going for over here is ob obviously the separation stage um and then i'm sure landing the booster i'm not sure if that's what he got right but uh let's uh, rock and roll let's i mean just watch it with me if you're interested in this kind of thing great if you're not interested you can click off it's not a problem but um i, I certainly just want to watch this and for those of you who are interested you can watch it with me let's go 20 seconds away from liftoff i found this to be unbelievable engineering it absolutely fascinates me Nine, eight, seven, t minus five eight, four three Two, one. We have left off. Absolutely imagine the roar of those engines. Vehicles pitching down range. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is literally a skyscraper. This is literally sending into space. You're sending a skyscraper. It's actually kind of like a small skyscraper on top of another small skyscraper, if you're counting booster and the, sh the starship itself. It is unbelievable i mean obviously it's assisted by 36 raptor engines which i think are on like version two or three which are unbelievably powerful engines it's just it's something crazy 30 seconds into the flight the rumble's just starting to reach us here at launch control Ship, avionic power, telemetry nominal. 33 Raptor engines. 33, excuse me. Something crazy. Max Q. Now pass through the maximum aerodynamic pressure, the most stress the vehicle's going to see on the way uphill. Next, Still going our strong. next major milestone coming up it's going to be hot staging we're going to see the engines ignite on ship to push it away from the booster that whole stage separation didn't go too well the last time they tried it Still going strong, still going perfect. All right, so hot staging is going to be the next thing coming up. First, we're going to see the booster's engines start to shut down. All but three. We're going to do what's called most engines cut off instead of main engine cut off, because three are going to keep going. And then we're going to see the engines on ship ignite.
right now the tower team is doing their go no go and we might hear some really good words soon too all right Okay, let's just go fast forward a bit. There's most engines cut off. There's just a Stage separation. Stage separation. Hot stage confer separation confirmed. Ship under its own power. I'm seeing six out of six Raptors lit. The Starship continues, and I'm sure that's a whole different sort of equation when it comes to actually getting that ship to Mars. But he's getting there literally incrementally he is actually going to achieve it because i actually believe that he's going to achieve it because this man literally whatever he puts his head and put his politics aside let's put the politics aside right as a partially educated adult you should be able to chew uh, bubble gum and walk at the same time you don't have to agree with his politics and still accept and agree that is an exceptionally brilliant man that is pioneering something that is going to change humanity forever so it, it you know, you've got to you've, you've got to take your hat off um outside of the whole political uh story you got to take to, your hat off to people like this it's just unbelievable power i'm seeing six out of six raptors lit hopefully i got a booster on the way back to me i'm going to send it to you guys in hawthorne Oh man, that was absolutely <laughs> incredible. I loved how the crowd chamber pressure is nominal. The crowd here in Hawthorne all went ooh at that first <laughs> view of the blue flames from the booster. As you can see there, first stage currently performing. Or okay, so it's a long video. I'm going to try and see if we can just go back to the the actual booster. The Starship obviously will do its round and probably come back or whatever. But this is let's go to booster phase let's see what happens here looking up right now it's it's pretty much right over ahead of us and booster we can see it starting phase. to come down i can't wait for us to hear the sonic boom through dan's mic <laughs> right. that is going to be let's incredible. feel like we're watching so cool a sci-fi movie off. yeah this is uh and so once again um a successful on-time liftoff of Starship Flight 5. The ship uh, the, has separated from the booster. The booster is there on your screen. It is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to attempt the catch using the chopsticks. We did hear the confirmation that the command was... So they're going to attempt to use the chopsticks, which is usually it's that massive tower with those two prongs that come out, which literally the booster needs to literally land in that i've only seen a simulation of that i've only seen a simulation of what elon musk wants it to do i haven't seen i'm not sure if they're going to get it right or not uh, i haven't seen them even attempt it yet uh, or attempt it up until this point but that is just i mean it just seems to be popping up all over the internet so uh, let's see was sent to the tower uh we are go for catch and in order to hey guys we should just be about 30 seconds away from Just to remind you, this is literally catching a skyscraper. You're literally trying to catch a skyscraper. It's going to happen in three phases. We're going to land 13 <laughs> engines. Breaks through the gas. That velocity. Oh, we can see it coming Jeez, and it's moving. Booster coming in hot for booster catch. As it would. I mean, the thing's and fucking nice huge. Start. We can see how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand. Landing burn. We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now. Don't tell me it's going to do it. Do not tell me it's going to do it. Oh my fucking. God.
the first ever attempt they actually managed to catch a fucking skyscraper with two fucking chopsticks prongs what are we even witnessing right now we're now down to three raptor engines we can see those chopsticks now They are going absolutely mental and rightfully so. I actually cannot even describe what we are actually watching right now. This is insane engineering. This is literally the fucking bleeding edge of engineering. This is exceptionalism, American exceptionalism. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they are literally shocked. They literally, they literally just made fucking history over here. I don't actually think you understand what this is. This is literally a moment. This is an event in time that is equivalent to uh, fuck the major events the moon landing essentially i know some people are going to come here and say that never happened but okay stick to your theories <laughs> that's perfectly fine but it's literally an event that big this is absolutely unbelievable this is the crazy thing about american exceptionalism this is the attitude that anything is possible and anything can be done if you just put your mind to it right and if the system itself allows you to it allows you to innovate it allows you to be prosperous it allows you to make something of yourself right and you can only do that through meritocracy you can only do that through merit people who deserve to be in those positions now i'm all for inclusion i'm always have been i'm all for inclusion right but there are certain things in society there are certain factions there are certain sectors in society that inclusion is not what their focus should be i would say most of the educational most of the the uh, um um, the innovative, the things that really academics over academics more specifically, academics and uh, in, in corporate as it, as it should be, it should be all merit based. If you're good for the job, you get the fucking job, right? It doesn't matter what color you are, it doesn't matter what creed you are, it doesn't matter who you are, but it needs to be down to qualification. And for things like this, for things like this, exclusion is is needed more, not inclusion exclusion is needed more not exclusion through color race ethnicity religion no, no no not that exclusion in ability if you don't have the ability you should be excluded from this because you are not pushing humanity forward everybody has their limitations everybody has what they're good at and that they should know that they should know what their limitations are right but i'm no elon musk i can't do something like this and i should be excluded from ever being in something like this, regardless of my skin color, my ethnicity, whatever it is, I need to be exceptional to do the exceptional. And that that's, should be the qualifier, right? And that is what makes a society prosper. That's what, what literally keeps a society at the bleeding edge. It keeps a society innovating. It keeps a society prosperous, right? And the moment we go for the mediocrity, the moment we take the exceptional and we bring them down to the unexceptional because our feelings are too hurt that the exceptional are exceptional and they deserve exceptional things and exceptional rewards for their exceptionalism, Right? When we live in a society where we have to take those people and drag them down to the unexceptional and just make everyone dumb and stupid and that's what you call equality, that's a dying society. This over here should be revered. This over here should be celebrated. This over here should be um, something that is 
shown to children to, this is what you can do this is how you can this is this is the proverbial american dream this is um the fucking next step the giant leap this is what it's about and it all comes through a society that puts aside their stupid differences and stops focusing on cultural bullshit and actually starts focusing on the things that move them forward and push them forward and make them better right as opposed to trying to destroy that because you just you're too offended by the fact that you're not you're not in that bracket you're not exceptional you can be exceptional in your own ways but we can absolutely 100 percent take our hats off and literally uh, uh, um, adulate the people who are exceptional that are doing things like this because these are the people that change the fucking world thank you for watching i love you all please stay safe please stay healthy i'll catch you in the next one peace